we didn't think we we're gonna make it out alive. Like I remember looking in our fridge and there's raw meat and I was eating raw meat to survive or we'd go in the backyard cause we're starving and there's a bag of pedigree dog food and we're eating dog food. I DM'd him, he answered my DM come spray tan me I spray tan him and then like two days later they're like can you come spray tan Kylie Jenner I'm like what what is Literally, life I'm like what is this I knew that God brought me here tonight not just for a spray tan but God wanted me to pray over them mm -hmm. God I am serving you every single day through that spray tan mm -hmm. and I was like there is nothing more beautiful Hey y'all, welcome back to the Salty Podcast. Today I am joined by a friend and a local, not local, I was about to say local. I, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Hey, she's <laughs> talking about moving from LA. She is a celebrity spray tan artist, y'all, and her story is just amazing. Like, wow, I cannot wait to dive into it. So without further ado, this is Isabel. How do you say your last name? I don't want to butcher it. So I go by my first and middle name, Isabel Lisa, but my okay. last name is Vita. So okay. Isabel Lisa Vita. Yes. Okay. And she is the owner of Dolce Glow. I currently am dipped in Dolce. Dipped in Dolce. She came all the way from LA to give me a spray tan and to certify Hunter. So <laughs> y'all have to go check out that video. It is great he is now he is a, <laughs> he's an official certified dolce glow spray tan specialist that is amazing yeah. i'm gonna have all my friends be like can you spray to me i'm saying no no, no 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 unless I you're will. male yeah. exactly <laughs> i try to pick up on some of the training techniques you um but i'm so glad you're here thank you so much for having me of i'm course. so humbled and honored and i'm so grateful to be here with you thank you i just can't believe you flew from all the way from la to la yeah. lower alabama yeah and you're here now and it's I just, just I, I just I'm a huge believer that God brings the right people mm -hmm. together at the right time and just like how everything through Instagram yeah. and I was meant to be here and I was meant to, you know, meet you and I just feel like we'll be friends for life. I know. And it just it just feels right at home. So yes, thank you. I completely agree. And I met you through Danny yeah. Austin. For those listening, Danny Austin, she's a friend of mine. She's an influencer, owns a Divi, which is a hair care yeah. company. And so she did a podcast with Isabel yeah. and I was like, oh my gosh, like another Christian in yeah. Hollywood, like you are in the bubble. In the weeds. You have met so many celebrities yeah. and like, I'm just so excited to dive into all that. I'm and it's so, so intriguing. Like I was asking you, we were talking last night. I'm like, oh my gosh, who all have you spray tanned? Like, how is it? Because it's such a... You, it's such an unusual life, right? Yeah. Like I even pinch, like every day I'm like, pinch me. Mm -hmm. How is this possible? Right. And I'm like, it's not like I just started a few months ago. Like I've been doing this for almost 10 years now. And wow. so the amount of people that I've been able to work with and like the top, like the best of the best or mm -hmm. the biggest influencers in the world, you know, it's, it's such a beautiful thing, but I've learned a lot just through life and being a part of that. So I know. And I was y'all and she loves Jesus. I do. I do. God is love. Yes. And every time I just have to brag on you a minute, like you're so humble. Thank you. Like on your Instagram, you'll, you just got released, don't you glow into Ulta stores. Mm -hmm. And so you're sharing that, but then you're immediately followed by like, God is so good and giving praise to him. And that is encouraging for outsiders looking in be like, oh, she's not ashamed of that. Yeah. When really it's almost like sometimes I feel like people want to hide it because it's not the most popular right. thing to do. Right. And so just kudos to you. Like Thank that is you. so inspiring. And I'm so excited for the listeners to hear your story because looking at you and knowing your successful business, you would never know what you have been through. Yeah. So yeah. let's yeah. go back. Let's, let's, let's talk it. about let's it. Let's do it. Thank you again for having me mm -hmm. on. I'm so honored and so grateful um, but I think I'm just to be here today and be able to share with the world, you know, my story and how I got here, you know, it wasn't all glitz and glams and I get to work with all these incredible famous people or celebrities in the world. That's amazing. But, you know, it's really been God that has got me through just, I was talking about some of the trauma and grief that I've been through in my life. And I didn't know what was getting me through these difficult times, which we'll dive into right now. But Later did I find out that it was like God giving me the strength to push through. Mm. Um, yesterday I was kind of sharing a little bit about leaving my, I was in foster care 
And at the age of seven, um, I was put into foster care. And then I was there till I was 17, you know, went through a lot in my foster home. So it wasn't what we it was supposed to be, right? Went through a lot of stuff that no foster child should ever have to go through. So I went from having a biological family and went through tons of trauma there from growing up, not knowing where my next meal was going to come from. Um, you know, I mentioned, you know, we were at the lowest point where we were eating dog food to survive because we had no food, raw meat, bad meat, whatever, because our parents would leave. We got put into foster care. And then, um, unfortunately our foster parents also weren't the greatest people in the Mm. world. And so, you know, just trying through, you know, growing up, it's so difficult already, especially as a teenager. And now you're given this other set of cards, you know, just trying to navigate through that. And then at the age of 17, I left my foster home with a backpack, not knowing where my next meal is going to come from and working, you know, dead end jobs, nine to fives, cleaning bathrooms, like you name it. Like I did it all. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I remember just constantly praying and I was like, God, there has to be something so much more for me. Like I met, like, I just always had something within that was telling me like, despite being a foster child, despite what everybody thought I was going to turn out to be, Mm -hmm. because, you know, the stats for foster kids leaving foster homes are not good, you know? And so I'm like, I don't want those odds to define me. And so there was just always this like force of faith and little did I know a few years later, I would really find out that it was really God pushing me through those hard times Mm -hmm. because there's no way I would have even have been able to figure out where I was supposed to be without having that extra push. And so, um, left my foster home at the age of 17, again, just barely getting by. And then I didn't know where my next meal was going to come from. But you know, as women, you know, if when it comes (laughs) to our nails, our hair, we're like, we're figuring out how to afford that, right? How to get those nails done. Mine are not done. Mine are not done. done, But, um, and so I got my first spray tan and, you know, just through all the trauma and grief, I was in such a dark place in my life. And again, I, half the time, I didn't know where I was going to eat next from. And, I got this spray tan and I'll never forget the next morning. I am tiny, but the amount of cellulite that I have on my legs, I'll tell you, I woke up the next morning. I'm like, it's gone. Like no more, you know, like it just made me feel better. Right. Because people don't realize it's like, yeah, you can get a nice golden tan, but there's so many other benefits, right? Mm -hmm. Like reduces the appearance of cellulite, varicose veins, Mm -hmm. just gives you a little pop of color. If you can't tone it, tan it. So not only was the cellulite gone, but it was ultimately that like inner confidence that I'm like immediately felt better. Mm -hmm. I'm like, how is that possible that like the spray tan could make like everything just go away? It was just crazy. And so I remember the thought came to me. I was like, what if I, you know, this girl just came to my house and charged me all this money. What if I start doing this? Because it was such a quick service. Right. Moving forward, I ended up um, getting a job working for the Society of Dermatology um, through another company that hired me to kind of manage their nonprofit. And I did that. And so I started to fall in love with like skincare and like just being aware of like the damages of like, you know, laying out in the sun, et cetera. Mm-hmm. And then um, my husband and I had just gotten married and um, my daughter is about one and I get another spray tan. And I remember I was just so miserable at my mm-hmm. nine to five job. And I was like, I need to find something else. And then I told him, I'm like, I'm going to use our last $2,000 to take a spray tan class. And which is super frightening. You have like, I had a one year old at home that like yeah. depended on me. And like, I know how it feels. What a to, leap of faith. Literally. Yeah. I was like, I know how it feels to be hungry. I never want to take that. Like d- the thought that like, that was like all we had. And like, mm-hmm. we couldn't even afford a sofa. We were sharing one car. We He would pick me up from work, drop me off, and then I'd pick him up. And like, you know, we still sh- shop at the 99 cent store, but at that time, that's all we could afford. Mm-hmm. And we'd buy, we we're talking about the ramen soup, yeah. four for a dollar. That's what we we're living yeah. off of. Ended up deciding to take that leap of faith and praying. And through just prayer, I was like, I woke up one morning, I was like, I'm going to do this. And I'm like, my you husband's felt confident support- I just, that. yeah. But it's so funny how like, we doubt ourselves so much and we're like, well, what if this doesn't work out? Like I never, I was like, I had lost so much in my life already and been through so much that like, I wasn't scared. And I was like, if it doesn't work out, I'll figure something else out. Right. It's kind of what life, you never know what life's going to bring tomorrow. You just got to make the best decisions Mm -hmm. for like what's in front of you that day. 
And so, you know, I took a spray tan class and, you know, that class was super funny and I'll never forget how that went down. But I knew nothing about spray tanning. I thought it was like different colors. I thought it was like body makeup and it like stayed on your See, skin. See, that's what I would have thought right, too. Right, yeah. And it actually is a whole like chemical reaction. It's wow. really insane um, how it all works. And so little did I know that although it wasn't the greatest spray tan class, that it would set me up for success because I really had to figure it out mm -hmm. because I had just used all we had, you know, yeah. better work out, you know, because my, I don't want to disappoint my family. Mm -hmm. And then moving forward, I got really good at it. And then, you know, my first year spray tanning, I made just as, so I would work my nine to five job, go home, put my daughter down because spray tanning is such a quick service. You yeah. could be done in 15 or 20 minutes. And then I would go drive around, you know, put my daughter to bed and then go out and do spray tans till one or two in the morning. Wow. And then, or my husband would drive me with my daughter in the back seat. You got to do what you got to do. Yeah. When he had to be up at 6 a.m. the next morning. And so we like really like pushed, put blood, sweat, and tears in mm -hmm. that. And my first, first year spray tanning, I made over $100,000 as wow. a side hustle. And that was like almost 10 years ago. And that, yes, to that moment of spending the $2,000. Yes. The investment that, that, investment. that was. And, but it's like, how I was so tired, obviously, you would work my nine to five job, go home, be a mom, put my daughter to bed, mm -hmm. or Vinny would out, you know, be driving me till two in the morning. And the only way I could have gotten through that was like God giving me the strength mm -hmm. because I was tired, right? You're tired, but I was like, I need to do this. Mm -hmm. But it's just so funny, like just taking that chance on yourself and like never what I have thought, like every, you, you, you're born to this world to think you need to become a, uh, you know, psychologist or a lawyer right. or a doctor, but I'm like a spray tan artist. Right. And now we're going to dive into what that I ended up know. being for that me. That is you know? amazing. Gosh, I'm just still just so amazed by it all. And the hearing where you came from. And so backtracking a little bit before yeah. we get into Dolce yeah. Glow, you knew that there was a God, like you were praying. Yeah. Even in the midst of all of the trauma yeah. and all that, how, when was he introduced into your life? So actually when I was in my foster home, we would go to church mm -hmm. on, you know, Saturdays, we were seven day Adventists. So a form of uh, Christianity at that point. It's so funny, although it was so traumatic being in that foster home, I just always remembered God and like I was taught to pray and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. It's so funny how I talked to a lot of young girls and they're like, my parents forced me to go to church and like now I will never step into a church. You mm -hmm. hear those stories all the yeah. time. But for me, I feel like God just like was like, I'm going to show you like I don't I, I can't explain, but I think that's what so beautiful about walking in God is that it's things you can't explain. Mm -hmm. Right. You're like, how did this happen in my life? I never, I've, and just speaking on here, I'm not a victim. I don't look at myself as a victim. I know that God, I went through what I went through to be able to help and serve others mm. through my spray tan business. Yeah. Now. You know, I think it was just, although I was in a really dark place, I went through really horrific stuff in my foster mm -hmm. home. Just there was always a God there. Mm -hmm. And whether it was through these bad circumstances that he was still there, like he never left me. Yeah. Oh. I love that so much. Thank just, you. I told her last night, I'm like, if I start getting emotional, it's because I'm <laughs> it's, it you know, me, I, you're it allowed really, to. It's so, it's just a beautiful thing knowing that despite all that, I'm just so glad that he, you were introduced to God and Same. you, because he was like, he literally saved you. Saved he me. came here to save us, but literally he was saving you in the midst of the storm. And the, exactly. And he like never left me. Mm. Like I, there's days where we didn't think we we're going to make it out alive. Like going from eating dog food before we were put into foster home, like my biological mother would leave her five-year-old daughters and I have a twin sister. And so she would leave us for three, four days. We didn't have food. Mm -hmm. She was out, she was addicted to drugs. And so obviously not, not thinking straight. And so I remember looking in our fridge and there's raw meat and I was eating raw meat to survive or we'd go in the backyard because we're starving and there's a bag of pedigree dog food and we're eating dog food. It's like you didn't know. We, no. Like, and you, when your stomach's hungry, you're going to feed it, yeah. right? I mean, you're going to find a way. That makes me just so, like, think of Ivy and it makes me want to go back and, and hold I have you. my daughter, yeah, you, have, you know, now I have my daughter and I have PTSD from, I never want her to feel hungry, yeah. you know, but it's like, it's, 
I can't believe that I was that person because I'm so different today. Yeah. You would never know. Despite my challenges, despite all the odds against Mm -hmm. me, despite like, you know, just what I was supposed to become leaving foster care. Like the stats are not good for foster kids. And like you had every reason to turn against God Mm -hmm. because you could have blamed it on him. Like, how could he let me go through this? He didn't save me from this. Didn't take me out of it. Yes. Is that till this day, I do not have one pound of anger towards my biological family, my foster parents. I've never was angry at them. Um, And I think God was doing something so incredible inside of me that I didn't want to carry that poison of being angry. And I even questioning him, if anything, I'm like, God, I am not here to question you. Like, I know you're taking me through this storm for some reason. And one day, like today, I'm going to be able to share with the world and be like, despite everything against you, like there is a bigger God, Mm. like he's going to get you through those hard times. And he's never, you just got to you just got to talk to him and, and, and I'm a huge believer in that. You oh know? my gosh. I just, uh, I hope everybody listening is like getting this point because yeah. that is so beautiful. Thank you. I'm just so proud of you. Thank you. And that like for you not to even have an ounce of unforgiveness. And cause I was going to ask you that yeah. if was there ever any unforgiveness and now having a daughter, mm-hmm. like even looking at her be like, how could a mom do this to their child? Right. Cause you couldn't imagine doing it to yours. Oh my gosh. No. And so it's almost like, how did you go? F- Are there any, like, do you pray for them or do you I always did. Mm -hmm. I always prayed, but I never questioned. I never questioned why or, you know, I, I think the only day that was like the hardest day for me was when I got married. Um, I cried the entire morning of my wedding because I was like, no girl should have to like tie up her own wedding dress or like, it was a very emotional day for me that day. Cause like anytime I see relationships other than like now what I have with my own daughter, Mm -hmm. but like I'll see these young kids like yelling at their parents or like, you know, expecting the most. And why did I get this? Mm -hmm. Or like, I'm like, I don't have that in my life. Granted, I've met these amazing people down a few years ago that I called in my mom and dad today and God brought me to them. But, you know, I'm just like, be not like, you know, it's like your parents are so good to you. Mm -hmm. Like I would, I would die to have a family like that, you know? Yeah. And, and does your having your daughter like bring healing to it places totally you didn't brings even healing. know? Like it's like it's beautiful, and I'm just like I from the way I parents to you know just always like you know raising her with love, and mm-hmm. like I'm constantly reminding her though because she's complete raised completely different yeah. and has a whole different life than what I do. And you know I'm constantly reminding her that like mommy and daddy have to work really really hard, and so. I'm having her pack my spray tan kit, like yeah. coming with me to spray tan <laughs> I appointments, love that. taking out my mm-hmm. stuff because I want her to also grow up and realize like mommy's still working really, really hard mm-hmm. to be able to provide a life that she didn't have for yeah. you. And like being able to put her in a Christian school, like mm-hmm. that was like the biggest thing for me. You know, I didn't want her to be a part of the public school system. Yeah. And now obviously God has blessed me that we unfor- we're very lucky to be able to afford that. And not a lot of people are. And yeah. so like, I'm like, Mommy works really hard and that's why I still spray tan until three in the morning Mm -hmm. so that I can make sure you are shown and raised in God because that's so important for me. I know. I love that because it is hard even looking back on my life and the the hardships that I went through at a young age, so different than yours, but But it made me who I am. And so Ivy lives a completely life than we lived. And so I try to do the same thing. It's like I get in my head and I'm like, Wait, but I turned out this way because I did go through this stuff, right? And learned to work for what you have, and I got and a job that can't early be on. Taught. No, and so I have to remember, like, okay, even though Ivy is more fortunate, I still want to instill those things in her. So, you know, if there's, we want to implement. I don't know. We're just ta- in the stage of talking, like, okay, how can we make sure she. It, and it's learns so that important. stuff yeah, in the life she's living. And yeah. I think just, you know, now having Mia 
and, you know, having her, you know, pack my bags mm -hmm. or help me with whatever it is. Um, and I'm like, sometimes I'll, she'll need a little shake of, I'm like, I'm going to drive you through an area where these people don't have mm -hmm. anything. And remember, that's how mommy was raised. And so now Mia is literally anytime someone comes over, she's like giving them her toys or she's making them peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And like, she's such a giver. Oh. And I'm like, if there's anything in life, I just want to make sure that my daughter can be a light mm -hmm. and serve. And she loves Jesus so much I too. Love that. And sometimes I'll have friends text me and be mm -hmm. like, I know Mia's so close to God. Can you have Mia specifically pray for this for oh, me? And oh I'm like, gosh. so like even my clients you know, are asking so me. rewarding oh. at to hear as a mom. And just, I don't, haven't met her yet. I met her on FaceTime yeah. last night, but she does come off as such a light. Yeah, and she's like, light. One day, even if she doesn't realize it now, like to know where her mama came from. Yeah. I'd be like, that was my mama. My mama made through all that and- like, I have no doubt, like, she's already, sounds like she's already learning yeah. the things that you want her to have learned and yeah. without having to go through what you went exactly. through. Exactly. And it's so wild. We talk about that. We're driving through LA and our first, like, billboards of, like, mom on a billboard <gasps> for Dolce Glow, like, going into yeah. Ulta. And she had never seen it. And I recorded her reaction. You know, it's the cutest thing on my Instagram. We have to oh see gosh, it. And yes. she's like, that's my mom. Oh my that's gosh. my mom, that everyone. Is... And like, I was like, this is why I work so hard. Yeah. But, you know, just all through God, it's mm -hmm. really, God has brought me this far. Yeah. You know, it's, it, it's, and then obviously we'll talk about just, mm -hmm what he's done yes let's the favor talk. over my life yes sister gosh the favor and it's like everybody has that but a lot of people don't want to believe it that they have favor they feel like they're not worthy enough they feel like talk it's about that. god's not for them you know oh it's just for somebody else and you're such a testament but like no look at literally what god did in so, my life yeah yes so okay now whenever you started spray tanning, mm -hmm. you fell in love with it. You're like, I can make a living from this. Yeah. So when was Dolce Glow introduced? So pretty much Dolce Glow was a few years later. So um, started obviously spray tanning. And I would say like two years into spray tanning, I spray tanned um, one of Kylie Jenner's makeup artists. Mm -hmm. And how did that come about? Like how so I like because I was not afraid of anything. Like God mm. just gave me, he's like, go do it girl. Confidence. And I'm like, worst yeah. case, they're going to say, no, I move on to the next one. Like, yes. and I think that's what we see so much in life. People are scared to be vulnerable. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, well, like I've been through the worst. If they say no to me, I'm going to figure something else. Yeah. So I just always had this grit to keep moving mm -hmm. regardless of the circumstances. And so I DM'd him. He answered my DM come spray tan me. I spray tan him. And then like two days later, they're like, can you come call? Can you come spray tan Kylie Jenner? I'm like, what? What, what is Literally, life? I'm like, what is this? And I remember like, cause I think unfortunately society views these celebrities mm -hmm. as like, you know, and it, they're amazing people. They're just like you and I yeah. though. And I think that's the beautiful thing about this is that I go in and I look at them just like Devin, mm -hmm. Devin, you know, I look at, and, and they are just like us. Mm -hmm. But, you know, obviously they're the most influential in the world. Mm -hmm. And so I spray tan Kylie. And funny part was I did that one spray tan. It was probably another two years before I got a call back from her. Not just because she had a day-to-day -day person that she mm -hmm. used. And, you know, and I just obviously I believe in like, you know, staying loyal to the people, you know. So um, little did I know that, you know, I would start manifesting. I was like, I'm really good at this. Mm -hmm. Like God has given me a gift. But... The most beautiful gift is not only is it the financial freedom that mm -hmm. he has provided in my life, but he's allowed me through like everything that I've been through to go and make them feel and look better because yeah. we all know like the spray tan, the way it makes you feel after. I am a full believer yes, in getting a spray like, tan. It makes me feel better. Feel it's better. a pick me up. Yeah. It's a pick me up, right? And I was like, if I can make others look and feel this good and also make an income at the same time, mm -hmm. like I'm going to do it. And so... I remember manifesting that I was going to, you know, spray tan Kim Kardashian. And I was making myself believe that Kim Kardashian was calling me tonight for dinner or not for dinner, you know, but <laughs> literally for that spray tan. And I remember my husband calling me one day and he's like, Hey, let's go for dinner. And I was like, no, Kim's going to call me tonight for a spray tan. Like, I know it's, she's going to call me tonight. Mm -hmm. She didn't call me that night. She called me a few years later, <laughs> hey, but, but the confidence, you know, the confidence. Yeah. And then, you know, I was like, in order to be different, I have to launch my own spray tan mm -hmm. solution, which is Dolce Glow. I need to create something 
that was so different. Everyone hated the stinky spray tans. Mm -hmm. Everyone hated how, you know, they were also very sticky and they smelled and they're like, my husband's yelling at me because it stinks and it's, you know, all this stuff. And I was like, I need to do something different. And so that's what led me to creating the professional line, which is what other spray tan artists use because that's how I started. Mm -hmm. Um, And, you know, in the midst of that, created that and then started you know, teaching spray tan classes. Cause I was like so many people, I want to be able to share this financial mm-hmm. freedom that I had in my life with other moms that are single moms or like, I've trained attorneys, doctors, lawyers that like, are like, I need a side hustle. Yeah. Like I'm like, you should, you know, and they're like, no. So it's just crazy. The people I've trained anywhere between, you know, 17 year old you know, young girls that are like wanting to do this right after high school, all the way to like 65. I retrained or I trained a principal that just retired from at 65. She's going to go spray tan all her friends. Love it. And so, you know, I little did I know I would become one of the biggest spray tan educators in the world and one of the biggest celebrity spray tan artists in the world. And, Ah, you know, all those people, you know, and I don't know if you want to get spill the tea first, but what God has done in my life and my career and you know, I never thought that I would be this celebrity spray tan artist. I know. Artist. That's what I just told before I've met you and stuff. I'm like, that is so cool. And because I always tell uh, like people when they meet us or whatever, like I feel like we're on a completely different level than like the Kardashians or right, whatever. Right. But in reality, like they're just real people too. Yeah. And so you're seeing these people at their most vulnerable. I mean, they're Yeah. Hi, naked. nice to meet you and, now. Get yeah, naked, yes. you know. And we talked last night and I'm like, and how it's become your ministry. Like yeah. it is your ministry and you're literally spraying them yep. at the hand, like you're the hands and feet of Jesus. Yeah, exactly. And, like, and I'm praying with them. I love that. I was, uh, you know, that I have done more. So I've walked into people's homes and they're in a really dark place. Mm-hmm. And they're like, Isabel, I'm just calling you because I knew a spray tan would make me feel better. And some of them were, you know, as soon as they open the door, their face is soaked. I'm like, let's get all the tears out now before we start the spray (laughs) tan. Okay. (laughs) Um, But I'm like, can I pray with you? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm feeling it's, you know, God is telling me to say a prayer. Like, would you mind? I can't tell you. I, it's literally more than just a spray tan. Mm -hmm. I'm grabbing their hands and my spray tan tans. And I'm like, God, just put your arms, your glory over. I don't know what's exact, what they're going through. Only you know. But I ask that you give them the strength to move on. And like, they're like, I knew that God brought me here tonight, not just for a spray tan, but God wanted me to pray over them. Mm -hmm. And now I have my clients that will literally text me and say, Isabel, I'm going through this. Can you please say a quick prayer for me? Like, can you pray over me? And I'm like, God, I am serving you every single day through that spray tan. Mm -hmm. And I was like, there is nothing more beautiful. And so talk about what he's done in my life. I mean, I defined all odds. Mm -hmm. I could have ended up like my biological family, addicted to drugs, alcoholism. um, But I chose a different life. But it was God in that whole mist of like using me. He's like, I'm going to make you different. And I'm going to show you how to serve through this business, not mm-hmm. just a beauty treatment, right? but you're going to be that light in these people's lives. So every morning I wake up, I'm like, God, let others see that I'm just a light and I'm just walking with you and let me help bless anybody in my life or that's going through difficult mm-hmm. times. And that's what led me to start to create or do my spray tan yeah. classes. And so now I've, you know, probably trained over 4,000 people across the world, either on zoom. So if people mm-hmm. can't make it in person. We do zoom classes or we do our live in-person classes in different cities. And now the people that have come to me, they're like, is if I charge up every credit card to take my spray tan class? And guess what? I didn't know where my next meal is going to come yeah. from, but I'm opening my third spray tan salon. And you're like, relatable. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I was like, if, if I can do it, you can do it. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, I mean, just talk about creating products and now yeah. all those people that I've been able to we can dive into that. That's the yes. no, fun part. That's it the It is so fun. The first thing I asked her, I'm like, so who all have you spray tan? Who's the most famous person yeah. who spray tan? Yeah. It's just so interesting. And so I know there might be people being like, well, who does she spray yeah, tan? Let's, let's I, spill the tea. Yeah. So, you know, obviously I mentioned Kylie Jenner is my first major celebrity break. Mm-hmm. I didn't know anyone. Again, that's God's glory. Yeah. Like I did not know. I'm not related to anyone. I didn't have a connection, but me just being vulnerable, offering a free spray mm-hmm. tan 
opened up a million doors. You gave right? God your best yes, yes. years ago. Years when you ago. I'm like, you're in control yes. of this life, God. Yeah. You show me and you navigate me mm -hmm. to where I need to be. And he told me, send that DM, right? And people, a lot of people are nervous. I hear mm -hmm. that. I'm like, just do it. Yeah. So, you know, it started with Kylie. Years later, you know, went to Chloe and then Kim Kardashian and JLo and Miley Cyrus and Katy Perry and, you know, just tons of, you know, Olivia Copo And I mean, then my list of mm -hmm. Rolodex of clients, like, Chrissy Teigen, I'm like thinking just for the um, Oscars, you know, to last night, all the people, Becky G from, you know, just an array. Like mm -hmm. I became one of the biggest celebrity spray tan artists in the world. Does that just still blow your mind? I, I, I like don't, I'm like pinch me. Like how is this possible that yeah. these people, not just one time, oh, she spray They trust you. Trust me. Oh my gosh. But it's years and years yeah. and years of hard work and me also saying yes, yes. and being available yeah. So God has given me the mm -hmm. strength as pushing through those tired days, those long hours, being a mom, going home, put my daughter mm -hmm. to sleep. Also half the time or me traveling, you know, with my clients yeah. to go to Paris Fashion Week and, you know, it's like exhausting. the first time I went on a private yeah. plane, I'm like, what is this? <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm like, this is just so wild. Yeah. But, you know, God has given me the strength to push through those push hard through. times, but I've worked really, really hard. You so, have worked you know. so hard. It's not, it, this was not handed to you no. by no means. No. And that's what I was so excited to have you come on here too, because a lot, I feel like a lot of people see somebody be successful and they just think they were handed this and that it could never happen for them. And I get judged mm -hmm. and I get judged by my appearance. And I think that's the hardest thing, right? I'm a blonde, a blue eyed, you know, and there's this whole stigma, right? Yeah. She must have come from a rich daddy mm -hmm. or like daddy, you know, and I'm like, I get that too. And I'm like, you just don't you know. Don't know. Yeah. And so it's like, be kind and don't judge. Mm -hmm. Like everyone has a story. And so for me, my story was completely different. And so, you know, God is continuing to just serve and so now launching you know not only just doing my spray tan classes mm -hmm. which for me I love so much because I'm changing yeah. the amount of women's lives that this financial freedom mm -hmm. has also changed their lives just getting by and now they you know a spray tan takes 15 minutes to do yeah so you do three four of them a night you can easily be making an extra 200 bucks mm -hmm. and so that could be that grocery money that yeah. you're like shoot and groceries are so expensive uh, everything's yeah. And so I'm like, everyone needs a side hustle. Yeah. And so not only am I able to serve through spray tans, now I'm doing the spray tan classes. Um, but now, you know, everyone's like, I want to glow like all the beautiful stars on TV. Mm -hmm. And so three years ago, we launched the at-home self-tanning yeah. spray tan, which if you haven't tried Dolce Glow, it's it, literally it like is amazing. game changer. I'm like a spray tan girly. So Hunter, little backstory, I got spray tans all the time. And a few weeks ago, Hunter was like, please just buy the equipment and yeah. I will. And honestly, I've already saved money yeah. because you invest in that. Right. And then all you have to do is keep up the product. Exactly. And so anyways, and just like the time frame of having to leave to go. And he was just like, it is taking up too much of our day. It's like the whole day revolves around it. He was like, just get the stuff and I will spray. Yes. Tea. So that hence why yes. here we are today. Yes. She came hundred yeah. certified. Hunter is a certified <laughs> Dolce Glow spray so tan good. special. He I did. did so good. Amazing. Okay. But I know. But if you all don't want to get into the spray tan, right. it's still the self tan. Like I have the lotion. Yes. I have, there's all kinds of stuff. Yeah. We have all of our self tanners and mm -hmm. like be, me being an expert first, me starting off as a spray tan artist, I had no obligation to anything. Yeah. What I kept hearing was what people hated about mm -hmm. spray tans and why they orange. didn't. Orange. They're sticky. They're streaky. smelly. Yeah. Streaky. And so with my expertise, we were able to cr fix all of those yeah. issues. And so immediately when you get tanned in Dolce Glow mm -hmm. for the first time, you never go back. Yeah. Because immediately you're like, oh my gosh, it's so lightweight. I love it's it. It's hassle free. It's not sticky. Mm -hmm. And it's really an elevated, you get the packaging. You just feel like you're like one of the celebs yeah. opening because from the packaging, but it Anything feels so I luxury. do, exactly, and it's like you might not have access to a spray tan in your area, or you don't want to take a spray tan mm -hmm. class, and you're like, I just want the products. It's literally a spray tan in a can, yeah. And anyone, anyone can do it in their yeah. shower, like we, sh you know, showed yeah. last night. Hunter in like two even minutes. sprayed himself last night just to try it out, and and he kills it. I like know. it's like what was it like ten seconds? Yeah. and he was like done. Yeah, it's like putting sunscreen on at the beach. Exactly, but 
I love that it's also affordable. Yes. It's not just yes. something you you think, oh, it's for celebrities. Right. But no. it's really No, for and you us. know, obviously compared to other brands, little a few dollars more, obviously, mm-hmm. but it's nothing crazy. Like we have our mini trial sizes, which start at like 25 bucks. Mm-hmm. Like that's a steal, yeah. right? And you can throw that can in your carry-on. You don't have to check it in. Um, but you're getting what you hated before mm-hmm. in a self tanner, spray tanner, and you're like getting all the goodness and like, and so it definitely is that elevated yeah. because it hadn't been done in the spray tanning industry. And little did I know that my life would lead me to now having these, you know, products and now being available and mm-hmm. gosh, like I'm like, I'm walking in and we're in Nordstrom yeah, and we're in Ulta and we're on Revolve and every message just from the day-to-day consumer, they're like, I will never use anything else Mm -hmm. like I hated everything or I had this and this is by far the best like and that's where I feel like I'm winning it's like it's amazing to work with these incredible people in the world but like to hear people like Devin and like Mm -hmm. the moms that are like Isabel like I had these terrible you know varicose veins on my legs or you know the cellulite and like the your products are the only thing that helped me I'm like I'm changing their lives through my Mm -hmm. products you know and I'm saving them from skin cancer yeah you just feel you wake up the next morning you're like I'm glowing Mm -hmm. and that's why I love Dolce Glow products is they're so lightweight and hassle free Mm -hmm. that like you don't if you want to go and get those deep dark tans you can get it from our products but if you're like I just want to glow which is like some of the spray stuff that you love Mm -hmm. um it's really a confidence booster we're seeing things that have never happened in the spray tanning industry and i do feel like dolce glow has been a trailblazer a part of that Mm -hmm. um but it's it's definitely not what it used to be right i completely can like see that and like it's like bigger now spray tans versus used to be tanning booths and now it's like no spray tans is where it's at exactly obviously just us talking you can clearly see how evident god was through all of this where would you say like today the most, like what is he doing right now in your life that you're like, God just hasn't left me. You know, he, I mean to first off, like be available on like close to 300 Ulta doors and like pinch me. Mm-hmm. I'm like, this happens to like less than like zero 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 point one percent of the population to be able to get their brand at like a major retailer like mm-hmm. Ulta and Nordstrom. I'm like, what? But I do feel like it's been God's favor over my life. Mm-hmm. Like, and there's days where like, I'm also human and I'm like, God, like, is this like where I'm, what, what mm-hmm. I'm supposed to be doing? Like, am I worthy of this life? Like, you know, and so I'm a huge believer of like what God has man from God has planned for my life. No man can stop. Mm-hmm. And so if he wants me to continue to build, build, build as he has, and he's never left me, like he's going to continue to show yeah. me. And he wants me to now share my story with people like you and all the listeners today yeah. to where maybe they're going through a really tough time in their life or they're, you know, maybe at that dead end job or they don't know where their next meal is going to come from. Like, you know, like don't it's God is there and he's not going to leave you mm-hmm. and just pray and open up your heart. And, you know, and I hope today that there's at least one listener mm-hmm. that could be like I can do it too Mm -hmm. you know and um I just continue to see him and it's you know we're human and I get scared every day and I just in the end I like reset and I was like God has me Mm -hmm. like he's gonna he's never like we're still moving right we're still out working and so he continues to show me whether it's connecting with people like you that I can continue to share and be a light in other people's lives yeah because that's what and that's why the salt we did the salty podcast is just to hopefully people sharing their testimony can help encourage one person or the next. And it, there's so many things like just hearing you talk one, you're a good steward with what he's given you it, consistently. And that's why I've I truly, he continues to bless you because yeah. it's not like you're just taking it on for yourself. And you shared with me last night, you're like, all this is the extra stuff. It's all bonus. Like, like everything that's happened in my life at mm-hmm. this point, as long as I can, go grocery shopping and fill up that fridge for my daughter. Mm -hmm. I love a good Costco run. Mm -hmm. As long as I can go to Costco and get what I need. (laughs) I love Costco. I'm winning. Everything Mm -hmm. else is just a bonus. Mm -hmm. And for me to now have my team and beautiful women that like we're other than my husband, like he's the only man in Dolce (laughs) Glow. Um, But like being able to bless other people and like most of my girls came to me with no experience. Mm -hmm. Like they didn't have experience, but they had this desire to like want to learn and they work really, really hard. And so 
I'm a huge believer in the underdog because mm-hmm. I was an underdog yeah. in my life. Like I wasn't supposed to be successful. Mm-hmm. I was supposed to be like what the odds are for, right. you know, children leaving foster care. Well, and the enemy takes that and makes it your identity. It, and then the chain never breaks. No. And then you get judged. I still get judged. Like when I first got married or was about to get married, like my husband's family told pretty much him and his mom, like he shouldn't get married with her. Wow. Um, you know, she comes from a lot of problems and her family, like, and guess what? My husband and I have been married, happily married for 12 years this year. Woo-hoo, awesome. Beautiful daughter yes. together for 14 years. Yeah. He has never left my side, mm-hmm. left my side. He packs my bags. I had little post-its in my, in my luggage that said, this is your outfit for the podcast. Oh. This is like, I, I mean, my ride or die. Yeah. And I was like, I think I'm, I'm also, I'm like, God, he's blessed my marriage too, you mm-hmm. know? And, but again, I had just people doubting me and, and I, it's the best feeling. Yes. When I, like, yeah, they're driving through, you know, Glendale and they're seeing the billboards uh-huh. in LA and I'm like. I'm doing it. Like, yes. and God, you continue to like, just prove to the world yes. that like my odds did not define me. Like anybody that's listening today, I just want to encourage you to like, you are, and know that you are worthy. By the way, if you have not read the book Worthy by Jamie Kern Lima, you have to read this book. Yeah, I'm getting it. You've you're, talked about I've so much, you. I've got to get it. I mean, she defined all odds, ended up selling to L'Oreal for $1.2 billion. Wow. She's a believer. She's a Christian. Mm-hmm. and um, But it talks about how we go through life and you can have self-confidence, but you might walk into a room and be confident and then you leave and you go home mm-hmm. and you're like, I don't think I belonged. But guess what? You did belong. And that is your self-worth. Mm-hmm. And so anybody that's listening today, like, I just want you to know you are worthy despite all the odds that you feel are against you, despite your upbringing, despite the challenges and everybody has a story, like you can do it. Like it's yeah. all about mindset and believing mm-hmm. and trusting God. Yeah. Um, Cause, Cause he yeah. says he calls us worthy, even though yeah. we aren't by the world's means in right. that, but he calls us worthy. Yeah. And so I love that. The self that's the going self- into a room, confidence and thought and self-worth yeah. is so different, so different, but people put them together. They do. Yeah. And so, you know, it's one of those things where I'm just like, you know, he continues to show me mm-hmm. every single day. And that's why I give glory to him because yeah. I'm like, listen, I've worked hard, but God's given me the strength yeah. and the motivation to keep going because I'm out till two, three in the morning, spray tanning. And I always say, if you don't, someone else will. Yeah. And so, you know, I think it's important to have balance mm-hmm. and I'm going to be you know, super honest, it's probably been the most difficult thing for, you know, the mom guilt and leaving my daughter and traveling, et cetera. But I'm like, you know, and when I'm with her, I'm like, my phone's not on, like I'm really present and, you know, but I'm also building a better life for her that she never had, Mm -hmm. I never had. And that, you know, hopefully be able to leave her with something that she can just grow on. And she's, she's really the Dolce Globe queen. I love that. And I love that. And out of all that, she's seeing her mama give thanks to God and all of it. And I hope, and like, just to, I know we're about to wrap it up and stuff, but people listening to I'm like, well, I don't have the opportunity to go spray tan celebrities or I don't have the opportunity to do this, but. And I didn't either. Right. right? You didn't either. I didn't know anyone. But in their workplace in whatever y'all whatever are doing, they're going whatever through. your work you're doing as a job like you can still put Jesus first absolutely and because his call in your life is going to look different than mine or Isabel's and so you don't have to be spray team of celebrities to know that no God still has his hand or in that favor you are worthy life. of yes. your life right yeah. like everyone you are worthy like you're gonna get God takes us through those storms and then something beautiful comes from mm-hmm. that storm um, without a storm, you know, there's not, there's a, obviously you have your rainbow. And yeah. so, you know, I just want to encourage all your listeners to, you know, today that like stuff for me could have been really screwed up, yeah. but God is bigger than anything. And, you know, and if I'm a huge believer, you, you give your life to him and you give glory to him. And that's why I will never second guess giving glory to God in my post social media. I'm like, if you want to, be me like be mean to me because I'm a Christian or whatever. Like, listen, I know where I'm going. Like, Amen, listen, sister. like I know, yes. you know, and like these trolls on, you know, that mm-hmm. I, I, I hate to say trolls, but there's a lot of mean people on social yeah, media are. that are constantly saying terrible things. And I'm like, I don't need this energy. 
we're blocking. Like, yes. And, no, I've and, and it's recently okay. learned to block. Yeah. And it's okay. Mm-hmm. You know, you're just protecting that and, you know, because that we're humans yeah. and we're, we're, it's going to affect us if we allow it to. For sure. So that lifts just, in the God's voice and not their voice. You know, and I just, you know, always pray. I, mm-hmm. you know, I pray that God continues to bless you, your marriage, you. your life, your yeah. business. And look what he's done in your I life. I know. It's wild. I'm still pinch me moments, you, you know? know. I always say when, when you're in God's light, you can always tell. You look at someone, whether it's through social media like yeah. you and I, and you're like, there's something different yeah. about her. That's what I call yeah. me. I'm like, you, carry, you can stay at my house if the, you want. Exa- <laughs> I know. She's like, can you, like, you're welcome to stay. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like, I don't want to impose, yeah. but like, that's so sweet of her. Mm-hmm. And like, you know, she lives in uh, definitely different from LA. <laughs> like, getting here, we didn't realize we should have booked a car in advance because it's about a two hour ride yeah. from where we landed. But like, I told Bailey last night, who's my right hand, and by the way, all glory to my team too. Oh my gosh, these girls are amazing they, and the hardest I workers know. in the She's world. She's so sweet. It's just <laughs> you. God has truly just blessed you in so many ways, and but again, it's because you have been such a good steward, and yeah. you are you take care of what He's given you. You're not taking advantage of it. Oh, Every no. you're so humble. You remain so humble through it all. So, oh. and I'm just, I'm just like amazed everyone by else, and you know, and I'm. I just it was amazing just driving up here and seeing Mm -hmm. the beautiful sunset and there's not like 40 minutes of traffic (laughs) and I'm like and I'm like God this is your glory and like you're bringing me to you know meet Devin and like you wanted us to meet Mm -hmm. and you wanted me to connect with her listeners and so God is bigger and even if you don't know him and you're like you know you don't know where to start just start by praying in your car I always pray in my car and I'm on my way to my spray tan appointments I put my worship music on and I'm praying I'm like God I don't know what door I'm going to walk into Mm -hmm. but and, and I'll be honest, it always hasn't been great. Like I have a lot of amazing clients, but I've also been put in these interesting positions and mm-hmm. I like always have my cross with me yeah. and I'm like, God, just protect me, protect take my me through business, it. take me yeah. through it. And he does. Yes. Always. Uh, so. Well, thank you for coming on here and sharing your thank story. You. Thank and you for having me. Of course. Thank you. I just, thank you for flying all this way. Oh and it's gosh, just such a God thing. Was, so like, encouraging to me to hear. And so I know people listening will be encouraged by your story too. Before we say goodbye, um, go ahead and let them know where they could find your products. If they're yeah. like, I want some Dolce Glow. Oh my gosh, Ulta and Nordstrom. So we are in about 300 Ulta stores. So you can put in your zip code on the Ulta.com site and it will show you, or you can get it shipped to your house yeah. as well. On the website. On yeah. yeah, on Revolve, Ulta, NeimanMarcus.com. Mm-hmm. Um, Macy's.com. Um, so again, yeah. but in store and you'll probably find it in all your local Nordstrom's, mm-hmm. um, Ulta as well, or Ulta.com. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And one of my favorite products is the hydrating self-tanning water. Self-tanning water. It's, water. it's so good. I put yes. it over my makeup. Um, and you can put it under your makeup. Yeah. And yeah. It's a glow. You, yeah. It like darkens throughout the day and it's, stuff. Yeah, so yeah. yay. Well, thank, thank you. y'all for thank being here so and much. listening and thank you so much. Thank you. We'll see doll. y'all next Bye, Monday. Guys. Bye.